I'm very pleased to be here tonight to honor Mel Stone and to enlighten you on the impact he had on the lives of young boys, both on and off the baseball field. And also to talk about his amazing coaching achievements and really just his deep love and passion for the game of baseball. Mel Stone becomes the fourth person from the small town of Gilbert Plains to be inducted into the Manitoba Baseball Hall of Fame. The first, however, in the builder category, as the other three were inducted as players. Mel began his co coaching minor baseball in Gilbert Plains in 1960, a coaching career that would last 20 years. In between those 20 years, he found time to hold the position of rec director of Gilbert Plains, the official statistician for 10 years of the Grandview Lakers ball team, and serving as a director of the Manitoba Baseball Association, and through all this, still finding time to run his own restaurant business. Mel has recorded what very well may be the most successful coaching record in Manitoba minor baseball history for just a short period of time, in such a short period of time. In the span of just four years, he coached the Gilbert Plains Bats from 1965 to 1968 to five Manitoba championships and three Western Canadian titles. However, there's a lot more to Mel than just coaching. It was his determination and passion that every kid should be given the chance to play the gate, gate, game, of, gate, game of baseball. This was evident in the letters of support from some of his players. Wayne Church, who now resides in Dolphin, said, and I quote, As young boys, I don't think we realized the time the impact Mel had on our lives. He offered us all equal opportunity and encouragement, no matter what our skill level was. And Ken Bushy, who now resides in Burden, and of course many people know Ken, he's well known in sports, he said, and I quote, Mel was the brains and glue that built this dynasty in the 1960s. He taught us much more than just baseball. He always stressed fair play and sportsmanship. If Mel were here tonight, he certainly would like to recognize and thank a few people. First of all, he thanked the Manitoba Baseball Hall of Fame and Selection Committee for bestowing this great honor on him. He would like to thank his coaches who were with him during those years, namely Bert Hyron, Lewis Turner, and Brian Lynch was by Mel's side for all but one of those championships. And of course, his wife Florence for all her sacrifices and support throughout those 20 years. And he would not forget to thank the players for leaving him with all wonderful memories. In closing, if we were to ask Mel if there was one thing that stood out during those 20 years, he probably would say just going to the ball diamond and watching the kids enjoy themselves. However, there is one moment that Mel must have held very close to his heart. And that moment took place on a warm August evening in Winnipeg in 1968. It was the third and deciding game of the Manitoba Bantam A Championships. And in that game, Mel's son Blake threw a complete game no-hitter as Gilbert Plains defeated Winnipeg one to nothing. Well, tonight, Mel, you've thrown that no-hitter and it's landed you directly into the Manitoba Baseball Hall of Fame, a place you so rightly deserve to be. Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome Mel Stewart into the Peace Hall of Fame in the Builder category. Thank you for this time. I'd like to call upon Mel's daughter, Karen Potter, to say a few words on behalf of the family and then to accept his award. Hi. Our family would like to thank the selection committee of the Manitoba Baseball Hall of Fame for inducting and honoring our dad, Mel Stoughton. The letters of support from Albert Lynch, Sirs, Wayne Church, Dauphin, Kenny Bushy, Verdon, Gilbert Plains uh, Town Office, Rick Crosby, Terry Murray from Gilbert Plains. There are others who have since passed away, Jack Yule from Gilbert Plains and Bob Stroud from Grandview, when our family read these letters last summer, we couldn't believe that that was our dad. The late Brian Lynch should also be mentioned, who assisted with coaching for four Manitoba championships, two, uh, two uh, Western Canada wins, and the late Lewis Turner and Bert Hyron, plus all the boys now and men who played on the team. And thanks to our mom, who has also passed away, for putting up with all seven of us, that's including Dad. The Murrays. For insisting our family nominate Dad and not giving up to try again. And her son, Terry, who you just heard, was very helpful. Gladwin Scott, thanks to you for all your 
great advice. I'd like to end with a poem that um, our uncle Larry Stoughton wrote when his brother, our dad, passed away. It sums up his life. Mel was born in an era the times were tough. School came easy, farming was rough. Working from the time he could carry a pail, he learned early how to hammer and nail. Mal grew up strong with the willing to work. He tilled and he cultivated with the odd little quirk. The first caterpillar tractor, it was no toy. Well, how he was able to use it with joy. The Hamilton rink, with the winter so bright, Mal played hockey for hours by lantern light. Hockey games he shared with many others. There Mel played along with friends and his brothers. Mel went to the service in the Air Force Tog, spent most of the war in the DC fog. As did many others from Gilbert Plains, when the war was over, it was time to change. Mel married Florence and raised a family of six, bought a restaurant and truck stop with business to fix. Good meals, good service, and trucks came with a roar. Mel had farmed good roads in the family store. Sports came second nature to all of his brood. Never did they ever let work ever, ever intrude. Baseball, hockey, curling, the competition was on. The yard, the road, on the lake, on the pond. And now, along with others, put GP on the map. Minor league baseball, the Western Canadian champs. With the station wagon loaded, off they would go, beating Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and Alberta all in a row. To this era, area, a sports director he became, reminding everyone the importance of the game, helping many an athlete over the years, oh yes, the rare defeat and drying of tears. Of politics, the community opinion he did voice, people didn't have to listen, there was no choice. He worked in the cold and he worked in the rain, also worked with joy and worked with pain. Mel's family has excelled in sports activities they stayed. We all much to this man for which we pray. Whether it's hockey, fastball, horseshoes, or canoeing, we gave most of his life his childhood a renewing. As family competitions each summer goes on, rest assured we all 